guys, welcome back to some more Pokemon Crystal. Uh, this is part 20, so we're into the third, tenth thing. Uh, you guys know what I mean. Uh, I don't know if you can hear, but I've added the game music in the background. I'm gonna try this a third time. It screwed up twice. Hopefully I can get this to work this time. So yeah, this is the Olivine Cafe. And he's like, uh, basically said, uh, that the food here kept making him feel strong and it was highly addictive. Anyway, so this is, my, in my opinion, one of the strangest placements for a way to, for like an HM. It's in some little cafe. Like, honestly, who's gonna come in here? Like, unless you're the type of person like me who goes into every building in every city. Like, why would you put it there? Anyway, we're gonna, th we got the HM for strength, which is HM4, and we're gonna teach it right away to uh, Splinter. Upgrade Flail to strength, and that should make him a whole lot better. Well, sort of. Just upgrading a area of his move. You know what? No. Y we're just adding a strength, so. I mean, it's not making him a whole lot better, but we're, we're getting a new move, so that's good. <coughs> um, so yeah. So in this part, guys, we are going to be just checking out Olivine City. Um... So yeah, um, if you're gonna, if you, uh, if you're coming in, uh, if you come in here, there's gonna be this little fisherman guy, and he's like, I fished here for thirty years, whatever, whatever. Basically, in the long run, he gives you the good rod, and that's good. Haha, <laughs> corny. Um, so yeah, speaking of the good rod, uh, if you fish in off the coast of Olivine, you can catch a crabby, and if you trade a crabby to this guy. He gives you a Voltorb. And, guys, originally, you know how I did question three, number five, should I get Voltorb or Magnemite? And I ended up getting Magnemite, which you guys already know. Um, <clears throat> I was gonna get a Voltorb from that guy. Okay, and th here comes one of my favorite Nintendo scripts of all time. Just watch this. It's hilarious. Along, along the way to Cienwood, there are four deserted islands. Bad kids are taken there to the islands as punishment. That is not- that, that's the single most abusive thing I've ever heard in my life. They- they take isla kids to islands in the middle of the sea and leave them there. Like, are you kidding? Anyway. Uh, so this is the lighthouse, guys. This is probably the, like, main thing to do in all wine. Like, that is until Jasmine gets back to the gym. Um, but yeah, there's not much else to do in this city. But, this is the lighthouse, guys, and there is a carp load of trainers here, guys. I think there's around ten, maybe? Like, there's a lot. I'm gonna show the mandatory ones. I'm going to battle the optional ones, but not show the whole battle. Okay, so this is the first of the trainers. Hmm, this is no place for playing. Psh, no need to be so serious about it. Holy, like, don't cry about it. He's freaking out. He's like, this is no place for playing. Get out of here. Anyway, Gentleman Alfred is going to have a knock towel. And, um, yeah, so we're gonna send in Volt. Um, yeah, and we're just gonna go for a Thundershock. It goes for a Growl, which lowers my attack, which doesn't really matter, because we're a special attacker. So I go for a Thundershock. And kind of disappointed with the amount that I did. So I'm going to switch in here to Katrina, who is the next, the next lowest level Pokemon that I also need to train up. But Volt's level 17, and Katrina's level 22, so... Oh, wow. <sighs> Holy smoke. I don't know why I just got fr uh, whatever. I was just frustrated about being put to sleep because it's just a gentleman with a knock towel and holy, why well, am I having so much trouble? Um, yeah. So I switched into Katrina so I could nightshade this thing, and I wake up and wait, what? It? Huh? Oh, <gasps> wait. Is knock towel normal flying? I could have sworn it's psychic flying. I could have sworn that Noctowl was Psychic Flying. I don't know why, I just... I, I don't know, I just could have sworn it was Psychic Flying. That's the weirdest thing. Apparently it's normal flying, I guess so. That's so weird. Huh. Whatever. 
Anyway, regardless, we're just gonna switch into Splinter here and rock throw it to death. Um, so yeah. That time it's Growl actually did probably help it because if it hadn't growled there, probably would have died from that rock throw. Okay, no. Okay, thank you. If it put me to sleep again, I would have just been like, seriously? This is not causing any trouble to me. Like, it's just... It's... I'm going to kill it. I'm going to kill you eventually. So why are you just delaying your time of life? Life. Whatever. Anyway, we kill... We defeat... We, we make his knock towel faint, and we defeat Gentleman Alfred. Okay, this battle is not mandatory. It's optional. I'm going to show... Parts of it. Sort of. You'll see. Okay, um, so, men of the sea are, are always spoiling. I missed the last part. Okay, so this guy had a polywag and a polywhirl. And that's it. Okay, so that's all that guy had. Okay, so over here, you're going to want to remember the placement of those two things. For later. Um, this guy is also not required. He's, um, just... Not necessary. And I'm not going to show it at all, because he freaking had five Pidgeys, and I'm not showing that. That took forever. Because every time Thundershock, oh, Volt left them with one HP, so it took like ten hits. Anyway. Um, so yeah, this guy is required. <coughs> Recently, guys, Chugga Conroy had a very good point in one of his Super Luigi Galaxy episodes. I think it was 37, if I believe. Um, yeah, so he... He basically said that the word epic is so overused now, and I'm 100% in agreeal with him. Wait, is agreeal a word? Anyway, uh, I am in 100% agreement with him, because epic is the most overused word ever. Whenever someone wants to say something strong, it's epic. Whenever wants to say something is cool, it's epic. Whenever someone wants to say something is powerful, it's epic. Um, so yeah, he, I just, I, I'm a, I 100% agree with him, and I one-hit kill that Growlithe with Surf, which is pretty epic. Um, <laughs> okay, no, okay, I just did that on purpose. Anyway, he is another Growlithe. Growlithe. I always used to call them Growlithe, I think, if I can remember correctly. But they're really Growlithe. Maybe Growlithe. I'm not sure. Okay, so he goes into a second Growlithe. And we go into our Magnemite. And it is almost level 20 already, so... This lighthouse is going to be excellent training to get this thing caught up with the rest of our team. And hopefully in a couple episodes, they'll all be at the same level. Um, so yeah. We're going to one-hit kill this thing. With Surf. So, yeah, goodbye. And Volt's level 20! Hooray! Um, so yeah, I really hope this music thing actually works out because... I don't know, my, my walkthrough videos just look so bland without it. And Liz Picnicker's gonna call after battle. Hi Alex, this is Liz, how are things going for you? Oh, not bad. Why are you bothering me? Oh, you have to hear this. My Nidoran is so adorable, it always wants to What's Nuzzle mean? And, and, uh, I, I just saw a really ra- How can a Rattata be gorgeous? But I was on the phone and it got away. It made us really angry. Oh, that was the most pointless call. Oh my god. Freaking Liz Picnicker. Why did I why did I add her phone number? Anyway, right there, that girl is a mandatory battle. But over here is some some uh not required battles that I'm going to do anyways. Yeah, these battles are optional. <laughs> and so this guy had a Krabby. And another Krabby. And we defeated Sailor Kent. Goodbye. Um, yeah, so... Sailor Kent is down. And, yeah, okay. So I'm gonna come up here, come down here, and you will receive TM number 34. And that is Swagger. Um, Swagger raises your the opponent's attack and confuses them at the same time, which is a bit of a gamble, but it can pay off really well for you, or it can pay off really not so well for you. Because, like, with raising their attack, I'm just going to come back here for no apparent reason and make the mandatory battle when I could have just finished the two optional battles that are up there. But anyway, let's just do this battle. And, uh, yeah, so 
it raises its attack, so if it hits in confusion, it does more damage to itself. But for the negative side, if it hits you, it's going to do a lot more. So, yeah, well, it really only matters if it's hitting you with a physical attack. If it's a special Pokemon, then go ahead and use it. Um, I mean, there's no downside to it, really. Okay, so, two Thundershocks should knock this Meryl out. And, yeah, this is going to be a simple battle. Okay, goodbye. Okay, Volt grew to level 21. And Volt's trying to learn Thunder Wave! Yes! I can tell you guys, Thunder Wave is going to be really, like... Let me tell you right now, Thunder Wave is going to be on, like, <laughs> this thing's final moveset when we finish this walkthrough, I swear. It, it, it will be useful. Okay, um, so now I'm gonna go back and do this, these optional battles up ahead that I could've done anyways. I don't know why I didn't do them anyway. Like, yeah, I could've just done them, whatever. <coughs> so, yeah. Here's another optional battle. For some reason I keep wanting to call them special battles, I don't know why. Okay, anyway, this guy had a Spearow, another Spearow, and a freaking Fero. I don't know, I just kind of overreact to that, I mean, holy, it's not that big a deal, it's just a Fero. But, anyway, I don't know, it seemed like a pretty advanced Pokemon for this. You know what, actually, we're actually pretty far in this. We're at the, f we're at, we're at the fifth gym almost. Like, in two videos, we're gonna be at the fifth gym, or thir three videos, whatever. Okay, and apparently there's just the two, the one optional battles that I thought there were two, but there really wasn't. Um, so yeah. You're gonna, trust me, you're going to want to come down here on the left side. Because if you went on the right side, you would have landed right in front of him, and you would have had to battle him. And I do not want to battle him, because he's an optional battle. Okay, just kidding, I'm gonna battle him anyway. Um, yeah. Okay. I don't know why I said that. I just wanted to battle him anyway. I'd, like I, I should have just gone down, just to show you guys n what not to do. Okay, this guy had a has a ton of Pokemon. He has a Poliwhirl. That's it. Okay, goodbye. Um, yeah. So you're gonna want to come up here, come up here, and yeah, an optional trainer that. Who you don't want to mess with him. He's pretty tough. So I'm just gonna. Sk no, I'm just kidding. We're gonna fight him anyway. He wanted to battle Jasmine, but whatever. He complains and whines about something that I'm not aware of. Because I didn't pay attention. And he had a Machop, a Poliwhirl, and another Machop. And Volt got to level 22, and Katrina got to level 23. Which is nice, and they're both almost caught up to the rest of the team. Okay, guys, this is Jasmine. And she's actually the leader of the 6th gym, which we'll f and we'll fight her later. But the Pokemon that is in charge of the lighthouse, or whatever, runs the light, whatever, you guys know what I mean, is sick, and we have to go to Sea Anwood across the sea to fetch her some medicine so she can give it to Ampharos, and it will light up the night sky again so the boats can get back into the harbor in Olivine City. Okay, guys, next time, we're going to be going across the sea to Sea Anwood City to get some medicine for this Ampharos thing.